Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy vegetable beef stew in the Instant Pot. Hey again guys! Today I'm going to show you a vegetable beef stew that I make in the Instant Pot that's really super easy and low carb. Let me show you the ingredients I'm going to use today. I'm going to use a pound of ground pork, a pound of ground beef, a bag of frozen cauliflower, a bag of bone broth, onion and bell pepper, a bag of frozen mixed vegetables, a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, all seasoned salt, black pepper, chopped garlic, and some black olives. So these are the ingredients I'm going to be using today. This is so easy. You can make it with whatever you want. You can change the meats up. You could use fresh vegetables. I like to use frozen vegetables because I just find they last longer in the freezer. And for us, they taste just as good as fresh vegetables. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to get our onion and bell peppers started sauteing in the Instant Pot. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my Instant Pot on to saute mode so that I can get the onions and bell peppers sauteing. And I'm also going to use that mode to brown my ground beef and pork. So I'm going to use a little bit of ghee. I'm going to get probably just about... Not quite a tablespoon, but a half a tablespoon. And I'm going to put that in my Instant Pot, let that melt, and then we'll start sauteing our onions and green peppers. All right, guys, my ghee is melted in the bottom of the pan here. So I'm going to just use this whole container of onion and bell pepper I have. We're just going to throw that all into the Instant Pot. And I've already, it's already nice and warm. So you can hear it sizzling. I'm just going to saute these until they start to turn translucent. I don't want to cook them all the way because they're going to continue to cook when I ground the beef and pork. Alright guys, so my onions are starting to get translucent and they're browning up. But they're still a little firm, which is good because they're going to continue to cook with the meat. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to add just a little bit of chopped garlic, about a half a tablespoon I'm going to throw in there. Mix that around just a little bit with our onions and bell peppers. And then I'm going to add my meat. So I've got one pound of ground pork that I'm going to add. And I also have one pound of ground beef that I'm going to add. Like I said, you can add whatever kind of meat you want. If you just want to do ground beef, you can do that. I just had this ground pork that I needed to use up. Plus, I like doing the two pounds of meat. One, we like ground pork. And it's going to give us plenty of leftovers for later. Sweet. <laughs> so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get the meat nice and browned and cooked through. And then we'll drain it and add the rest of our ingredients. So my meat is browning up really good. It's not all the way brown yet. And before it's all the way done, I'm going to go ahead and season my meat. All I'm going to use to season is an all season salt and pepper. That's it. And you can season it to your taste. You could use whatever seasonings you want too. A little pepper and a little all season salt. That's all we're using. <laughs> As my meat is all nice and brown and I've already drained the grease off of it and stuck it back in my Instant Pot. The next thing we're going to do is just add the rest of the ingredients. Super duper easy. I'm going to add a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You can do whatever kind of tomatoes you want. I did not drain this. I'm doing the tomatoes and the juice. Just dump that right in there. I'm also going to add a 3.8 ounce can of sliced olives. Now I did drain the juice out of the olives. The thing I love about this is just so easy. It's like dump and go. <laughs> now this is the, what makes it the best is bone broth. I've talked about bone broth before. We like using it a lot in stews like this. I like using it sometimes as a substitute for water in recipes. 
This particular bone broth, this comes in the freezer section. I've only found it in Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Natural Grocers. I haven't seen this at a Walmart, but I really haven't looked for it either. They do also have bone broth that comes in a box, kind of like a regular chicken broth or beef broth that's usually over by the soup section. But this is a really good one. I like it. it like I said, it comes frozen. I've let this thaw out in the refrigerator before I use it. So I'm going to put this whole 24 ounce pack of bone broth in. If I can't make a mess first. <laughs> There we go. Just dump that right in. Bone broth is so good for you. It's good for your gut. It's just, it's just a really healthy broth in stews like this. And it gives it a really good flavor too. Next thing I'm going to add, I'm just going to add some Worcestershire sauce just for some flavoring. I don't have much left in this bottle. You can see right there I need to get some more. So I'm just going to use the remainder of what's in this bottle. So I'm just going to pour that right in. I like the flavor of Worcestershire sauce. Even like um, mixing in if you're making hamburgers and stuff, it gives it a really good flavor. Next, I'm going to add a 16 ounce bag of frozen mixed vegetables. I haven't thawed these out. They're still frozen, which is fine. We're going to add this whole bag in there. Now you can use any vegetables you want. Like I said before, you can use fresh vegetables. I just like frozen vegetables because they're easy to store. They keep well or they keep longer than fresh vegetables and they taste just as good sometimes. Now these mixed vegetables, they do have corn and carrots in them which are not low carb vegetables, but I'm okay with that. The small amount that's in here, I'm not worried about it, giving me a lot of carbs. The last thing I'm gonna add is a 16 ounce bag of just frozen cauliflower florets. Cauliflower is what my go-to is now instead of potatoes, <laughs> because I love potatoes, but of course we know those are not low carb. Now that I have all of my ingredients there, I'm going to just mix everything together, give it a good stir. Just kind of going to get so some of those vegetables, the frozen vegetables get down in there. And so all the meat's not just sitting on the bottom. I've incorporated everything together. Now it's time to cook it. We're going to put our lid on the Instant Pot. <laughs> I can never get that right. <laughs> and I am going to cook this on manual. For, we're gonna do 20 minutes on high pressure. Of course, make sure that your vent is to ceiling. Once that comes to pressure, it's gonna cook for 20 minutes and then we're gonna have a delicious stew. See you in about 20 minutes. I'm ready to eat. Where's my stew, woman? Feed me. All right, guys. Well, it's been 20 minutes. I did a quick release to release the pressure, and I've opened up the pot, and this is our finished product. Look at that yummy stew. Boom. Vegetable beef stew, all those yummy vegetables. You got your good bone broth. Oh, my gosh. We like to put sour cream and shredded cheese on it, so let me get that plated up, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's a super easy, quick vegetable beef stew that you can make in your Instant Pot. I love it. You can put whatever you want. Make it your own. I hope you guys liked the video. We are going to eat our dinner and get comfy. If you all try this, come back and let me know in the comments how you like it and how you made it. Thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. Till our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.